Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google just launched something kind of cool. And honestly, if you've ever wanted to turn your AI ideas into real, working apps without writing a single line of code, you're going to want to check this out. It's called Opal, and it's just gone into public beta. Opal is by Google Labs, which is the same team responsible for things like Google Stitch, Jules, and other projects like that. Now, what's really interesting about Opal is how it actually works under the hood. Instead of needing to piece together APIs or write scripts, you just describe what you want in plain English. Literally, you just type out your idea, like summarize my emails, then draft a reply, and save it to my notes. Opal takes that description and automatically builds a visual workflow out of it, chaining together prompts, AI model calls, and even external tools if you want. The whole idea is that you're not coding at all. You're just talking to Opal, and it's figuring out the logic for you. Then, you can see and edit the workflow visually, step by step. So, you're not just stuck with what the AI gives you. You can tweak each part, add new steps, or change the logic just by describing what you want or by dragging and dropping in the visual editor. And the best part is, you can remix and share these little mini apps with anyone, which is quite awesome. It helps you build your own productivity tools or prototypes, but without the usual coding headaches. Now, let me show you how you can use it, and as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from the usual no-code AI tools out there. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-4.0, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. So, when you first open up Opal, you'll see a gallery of templates. These are like quick start mini apps for all sorts of things. There's one for generating playlists, another for transforming photos into claymation, and a bunch more. For this demo, I'm going to pick the blog post writer, because I think it's a really good example of what Opal can do. And honestly, a lot of you have asked for something like this in the past. Once I click on Blog Post Writer, I get this flowchart style interface that basically maps out all the steps involved in creating a blog post. The first step is Get Topic, where it prompts me to enter the topic I want to write about. So, let's say I type in The Future of AI in Education. After that, Opal automatically kicks off the next step, which is Do Research. Here, it actually goes out and searches the web for information on my topic, or I can even point it to a specific web page if I want it to pull from a particular source, which is kind of cool. Once it's done gathering research, it moves on to Write Outline, where it creates a structured outline for the blog post based on the research it just did. Next up, there's a step called Create Banner Image which I thought was a nice touch. It uses the outline to generate a relevant banner image for the post. Again, all automated. Then, Opal goes to the Write Post step, where it actually drafts the full blog post for me, using the outline as a guide. Finally, the last step is Display Blog Post, where it shows me the finished product, title, content, and the banner image. The whole thing is laid out visually, so I can see how each part connects. 
And if I want to tweak anything, like maybe change the outline or add a new step, I can do that right in the editor or just by describing what I want to change. One thing I noticed is that, by default, the app isn't editable unless I choose to remix it, which is actually a pretty smart way to keep the original template intact while letting you make your own customizations. There are also options to preview the app, check out the console for debugging, and share the finished blog post, or even the app itself with others. Sharing is super straightforward, just a couple of clicks, and anyone can use your version of the app, which is really good if you're collaborating or just want to show off your workflow. It is also free, and the stuff that you do within it is also free. Like, the AI APIs and everything are fully free. Honestly, it's very similar to what you'd get if you combined something like Zapier with an AI writing tool. But the fact that everything is so visual and you can control it with natural language is a big step up. There are a few limitations, though. Since it's still experimental, sometimes the research step doesn't always pull the best sources, and you can't yet plug in your own APIs or custom models. Also, being US only right now is a bit of a bummer, but hopefully that changes soon. But now comes the best part the speed, and flexibility. I went from an idea to a fully drafted blog post, complete with a custom image, in just a couple of minutes, and I didn't have to touch a single line of code. That's honestly pretty amazing, especially if you're someone who wants to prototype content workflows or automate writing tasks without getting bogged down in technical details. Plus, since you can remix any app in the gallery, there's a ton of room to experiment and build something that really fits your needs, which is quite awesome. You can build any kind of custom mini apps with your prompts and just make something that is super customized for your workflow. It's almost like Google Forms, but for AI apps. I like it. And you can build some cool stuff with it quite easily that is custom to your needs. You can also easily share it with others and it is much more reliable in booting up than things like Artifacts or Canvas, which is awesome to see as well. So, to sum it up, Opal is a really promising new tool for building and sharing AI mini-apps with zero code. It's not perfect, there are some limitations, and it's US only for now. But the potential here is huge, especially for rapid prototyping and sharing AI ideas. I mean, I liked it, and I think if you're into building with AI, you'll probably find it pretty useful too. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.